this hood is ridiculously heavy. Now, like I said before, I definitely do not work out. So I'm, I'm not like a strong person to begin with, but this hood, I swear, I mean, I know there's a lot to it. It's a very big hood. It's it's one of the biggest hoods on a on a production car, probably ever. I mean, I know there's, there's there are bigger, but it's huge and it's fiberglass. It's thick. I mean, you guys can see here. I mean, this is probably I mean it's at least a quarter inch thick or six millimeters, six point three five millimeters. If anyone is watching that wants to use metric, um, but it's very very heavy. But this is one thing that I hate about the Corvette being uh, how heavy the hood is. It just makes it annoying. After I posted that video, um, especially after people saw that particular clip, uh, I had a lot of people telling me that I was weak, that I was a sissy, that I was pathetic. Now, all those are completely true, but it's not 100% my fault, and it's not because I'm just full of patheticness. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. I know it has been a long time since I've been on YouTube. I've actually had people write me comments wanting to know where I've been, if I quit YouTube. None of that is true. Um, I, I was just busy and just didn't have time to, uh, to film. And quite frankly, I, I went to make this video two weeks ago and realized, oh crap, there's some parts that I forgot to order or didn't know I needed to order and we'll get into that here soon. But in this video, um, you guys have not seen my dad for a while because I don't live at home, well, my car's not at home anymore, um, so that the car's here, but my dad is here with us today. Thanks for coming over, dad. Um, as a lot of you guys know, if you guys have been following the show for a while, uh, dad is usually always with me when I do stuff to the car. Now, recently he has not been because I've been doing it all here, but for this particular video, um, it's good to have a helper because of the, 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 um, the kind of work we're doing and because of the hood being so heavy, I need one to make sure dad was here to help. So before we actually get into the actual point of this video, I just wanted to show you a before clip of how the hood lifts right now. So after I pop the hood, you know, you, you, you get a hold of it here, and then it's it's pretty heavy, and you push up right here. Now, very, very heavy, and as soon as you release this, as you see, like, it wants to slam down pretty good. It's, it's a very heavy hood. So that is how it is right now, and this, this is how it's been since I bought the car over 12 years ago. Um, I never knew this, but apparently this shock right here is a gas charged shock. So it was actually meant to help in lifting the hood. It does not do that anymore. It is, <laughs> I thought it was always just a prop rod and you were supposed to be the person to lift the hood up and just be strong and that's not me. So the hood is open now as you guys can see and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Sorry my, my engine is so dirty here. As you guys know, I, I don't really make this a priority to keep this clean. But, um, hey, yeah, you need to power up super clean. Let me see your keys. Uh, okay. You're gonna love this stuff. Do you have dirty wheels? No problem. Just spray on and just spray off. No residue or nothing. How about dirty tires? You got residue all over your rubber? <laughs> no problem. Just spray on, let that foaming agent do its thing. It'll pull out all the brown nastiness from the tire. Hey, video man, get all this brown stuff coming out. Look at all this. And you just take a scrub brush and you just scrub it. Look how nasty that is. Then you just get a hose and you rinse it off. And just like that, you're done. You got a dirty engine? Spray it with the filming stuff. Let it sit for a little while, agitate it with the brush, and spray it off. Wow, look how clean that is. How about floor mats? You know how dirty they get? Get the aerosol can, no problem at all. Soak that sucker. And you can do this with carpet too. Let that sit for 30 seconds. Take your scrub brush again. Show it who's boss. Take your hose and just spray it off. Look at all that nastiness. How long's it been since your floor mat looked that good? Just do an oil change, get some oil on your floor. Man, that stinks, doesn't it? Not anymore. This stuff is legit. 
Just sprinkle it on. So you might need to agitate it a little bit, like this. When you're done, you scoop it up. And look, there's no more oil anywhere. Completely dry. Do you ever have your car parked in the garage and you back it out and you notice a piece of grease fell on the floor? That stuff is not easy to clean. This is whatever, this stuff comes in handy. This is the original, super clean, the strongest you can get. Check this out. Put that on there like that, let it do its thing. Then you just take a blue shop rag, I'm sure you guys all have in your garage, and you just clean it up. Where was the spot even at? Man, your car sounds nice, man. Man, this thing is heavy. Here you go. Thanks, man. Oh, don't forget. When you got grease, don't just clean it. Super clean it! <laughs> Alrighty then, that was cool. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. This guy actually left me some like products. What I was saying before we got interrupted there was, I was making my last video and as I'm like mid sentence talking and I see this bracket here and I see a hole down here and I'm thinking, that looks like there could possibly be a shock there. There's one on that side as well. So as I was making the video, I decided to ask uh, the people watching the video if there's supposed to be shocks there. And sure enough, I had a lot of people, and I thank you so much for that, uh, tell me, yeah, uh, there should be shocks there. Not sure why you don't have them. So I'm, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Who have a car before me, literally took them off and didn't replace them. Why, I have no idea. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna replace them. So I get um, the shocks, as you can see over here. I got these on Amazon. I will link everything down below for you guys. These are the front shocks I'm replacing. They are very small. And of course, this here is the uh, the large one um, that is for you know, the main strut. So I have all this. So then I go back over to the car and I'm looking and I noticed that there's no place to, you know, I was gonna buy a pin to put in through the hole to attach it. But when I was watching another video on YouTube of a guy who replaced his, he had these little black like, nipple things that stuck out. I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see them. And my car didn't have that. And I'm like, well, that's really strange. So then I get to like looking in my, my owner's manual, like my, my actual manual, not the one that comes with the car, but like the big thick one I have. No mention of, of front hood struts. Could not find any information online about it. So I went to CorvetteCentral.com and I typed in hood strut and this thing pops up and it says conversion kit. I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? Apparently in 1990, uh, GM decided that this one right here is more than enough to lift this hood and, and all of its weight Because prior to 1990 those front hood shocks that I'm going to replace here for you guys were actually a part of the car It came with the car um, In 1990 they did not and they removed those little black nipple things I was talking about So all they had was this so the conversion kit you can buy online at CorvetteCentral.com or Mid America Motor Works. The only reason I went with Mid America is because they shipped them right away, and Corvette Central actually um, said it was going to be in eight days, so they shipped it. But as you can see here, I've already opened the bag up, but it just comes with um, four bolts, four um, eight washers, some lock nuts, some washers, and uh, some spacers here because the spacers replaces that black nipple thing that I was talking about. Uh, and also on Corvette Central's website, they do sell these. All right, sorry guys, my GoPro shut off whenever I was filming a video and didn't know it until I was editing, so I just wanted to, re to go back and tell you guys what I was saying before it cut off. So what I was trying to say was on <clears throat> Corvette Central's website, you can actually buy the kit along with both of the actual shocks like together. So you would get all three of these things and it's, I think it's $43, which is really, really cheap. Um, I bought all my stuff individually. Uh, these were $8.99, um, $8.99. These arms right here together, I paid less than $16 for both of these. And then the long one, um, I actually paid $32 for that. So that was 32, these were 16 and this was $9. I just want to come back out here and I want to make sure I got that on camera so you guys can know. I will have all of this in the description below, all the links, if you guys want to go buy your own. So coming in here, I just want to show you this. We have one set up already. As you can see, you have the bolt goes in this way. This is the uh, passenger side of the car, by the way. The bolt goes in, it goes directly against the, bl the, the black part of the shock. Then you have your spacer 
And then you have a flat washer on the inside against the metal bracket. Now on this side you have the flat washer, the lock washer, and then the nut. Sorry if I got a little blurry there, guys. But um, so I'm gonna put a picture of this up so you guys can see it. Um, in case you guys are gonna do this, there is no directions that came with the um the conversion kit, but that's the best my dad and I come up with. I think that's what it needs to be. Um, if those black nipple things I was talking about were there, that's how far out this stuck. So that I know that spacer goes there like that. Um, <clears throat> this one, as you can see, the hole is way up here and the bracket's way down here. So in order to get that up high enough, you have to remove the these bolts on this bracket over here, um, which we're gonna do here next. You gotta remove those bolts so you can actually lift the hood up higher, which is why you need a second person to help hold the hood up further while you go ahead and attach those down there. And we're gonna do that right here. So first things first is getting those both bolts off. All right, 10 millimeter socket. And you just remove both of those bolts. And now the hood is completely free. So I'm gonna help Dad here. All right, go ahead and just pull that down, Dad. Just, just yeah, yep, just like that. All right, now this is the part where I need Dad to just hold the hood or somebody. When you guys are doing this, make sure you have someone hold the hood. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these and attach them into that hole. So again, guys, bolt goes in first. And then you put your spacer and a flat washer. Then you wanna find the hole there with your helper. And then your flat washer goes on the back side, your lock washer, and then your nut. And then hand tighten for now. All right, just so you guys know, the, the, the cylinder part does go on the top. I don't know if it really matters, but that's how I've seen it done. So that's what I'm doing here. All right guys, as you can see here now, we do have the shocks on both sides, spacer. I did not tighten them yet um, with the uh, tools, but I did hand tighten them both. So they're both on there. That was a very simple job. Um, <clears throat> all Dad did was just kind of held the hood up and kind of up and down as he needed to to adjust to where that meant the hole perfectly. Now all we're gonna do is replace this, uh, the main support here, get that bolted back in and we should be done. All right, my dad and I just took off the old one, laid it here on the ground. Um, I'm sure most of you guys probably know how these work, um, but you, you just get a screwdriver in behind this clip and it pulls out and it loosens it up in this hole enough that, it, that the, uh, the nipple that you're taking out of there actually comes out. Um, my kids just brought me some coffee. Um, this, this was from a subscriber friend of mine, his name is Terry. I've already showed you guys this before, but I love this cup. Thanks again, Terry, for that. And uh, <clears throat> when we put this back in, um, the um, the nipples that go back in here just push right in. You just, you just push it right on, and it's one on the top and it's one on the bottom. We're gonna put that together here right now. Like my uh, support here, folks? Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? All right, so the top piece, you just you just pushed on that nipple right there, and then down here, you can see the nipple right there where Dad's hands are at, and you just push it on, go ahead. Just like that. And now, you gotta make sure when you put this on, guys, if you guys get this style, the, the word press is on here. Oh, well, you guys can see that, it says press. Make sure that is facing up so you can read it so you're not upside down. And when you go to shut the hood, you, you all you're gonna do is just push that in, and the hood will, then you can pull the hood down. So the next thing we gotta do then is just tighten these bolts back up, and then we're gonna tighten all the bolts down there for the small ones. All right, and both of these are going to be half inch. So, <clears throat> as you guys know, just tighten this up. Now what I'm gonna do is tighten up the other side. I'm not gonna show you guys that because it's the same as this side, and then we'll be good to test her out and see how she turned out. All right guys, so as you saw in the before clip, as soon as you release this, as you see, like, it wants to slam down pretty good. It's, it's a very heavy hood. As soon as I would let go of this hood, it would just like fall. As soon as I would loosen this, it would just fall. Now you gotta, <laughs> you actually have to try. So this, you, you press, and you see the hood's not falling like the before. Before it would have like collapsed. Push here, and once you get it slid in, then you can let go of that. But you actually gotta like, like pull the hood now. <laughs> to get it shut, and then once it gets about here, it'll go down. So now, this is the after when you, when you go lift it up. So before, remember how heavy it was? This is one hand. Now if that isn't legit, I can't believe it. And then this here automatically clicks over to the lock position, so now it can't come down by accident. But um, wow, what a difference. That's crazy. It's crazy how much different that is.
Wow. Not bad for under 50 bucks. Well, how much was it? It was like, total was like $65 and, and something. That conversion kit actually only cost $8, $8.99. And uh, to ship it here was 10 bucks. They shipped from Illinois if you get it from Mid-America. I'm not sure where Corvette Central is located, but I am really happy with that. So now if you guys go back and watch the five things I hate about my car video, just erase that last part out of your memory because I no longer hate that about this car. This is this is actually, this is how it should have been. GM, whatever, however you thought this was gonna be good enough. Now this might just be good enough now that it's brand new, but why they took them off is beyond me. This is the way I think it should be set up, so that's awesome. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is it, and that is gonna do it for this video. Um, I'm so glad I got this done. Thank you guys again for everyone who commented on my last video and said, yes, Dulop, they're supposed to be, um, supposed to have shocks there, and a, a few of you even sent me a link to a video that I watched um, on YouTube, which really helped me figure out what I need to do here. Um, I did not find any video anywhere on YouTube that showed the conversion kit. So I'm kind of hoping this is kind of like one of the first ones out there um, to help anybody else out who wants these. If you have a 90 to 96, which is what the internet said and Corvette Central said, more than likely it does not have these shocks that someone else already put it on. Um, so if you want to get that conversion kit, feel free to scroll down into the comment, I'm sorry, not the comment section, but the um, description. And I'm going to have links there for everything for you guys um, so you can do this project yourself. Uh, you wouldn't absolutely need a buddy to do this with, but it was definitely a huge, huge help. And thanks again for my dad for um, helping me out. Uh, down there is the old shock, which is uh, super shot. And all, you see how I can actually like push this in my hand? Uh, you could not do that with the old one. You, you can't, I mean, sorry, with the new one, you can't even begin to move it. It's pretty crazy. So, since I have these nice things here right now, uh, thank you guys so much, super clean, for um, sending this to me. Um, that's... Thanks for sending that goofy guy in here. That was pretty cool. Just so you guys know, Super Clean um, is actually a pretty big company. Um, they give you a, a, a sheet here, like indoor usage, outdoor, auto, RV, and marine. If you're gonna do like engine parts, um, engines, tires, stuff like that, underbodies, you can do full strength. If you're gonna do like carpets and floor mats, you can do like three parts water, one part. I give you all this different, different stuff here. And this is completely available online. As you can see, they offer, they also have like 55 gallon drums. And they, they even give you a scale here, like the alkaline, the pH um, level, and all that stuff. Um, they do have several products. This is their most recent product, which I am so glad to have. I'm so glad to have that. Uh, aerosol, a foaming. This is this stuff right here, but in a foaming form. And then this is wheel cleaner, as you guys saw working a little bit ago. Um, they do not offer um, discounts because they, they don't sell direct. They sell through um, AutoZone, uh, Amazon, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Advanced Auto, all those stores that I'm sure all of you know very well, including Walmart. They also have it at Walmart. But they do have uh, an online on their website. I'm gonna put the link in the, in the description below. Um, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not huge because this stuff isn't super expensive, but they do offer 50% mail-in rebates for every product you buy. So if you buy something, you can go on their website, put in the information from who you bought it from and the receipt, all that stuff, and they will actually send you a 50% mail-in rebate. For those of you that are terrible at math, as I am, if you buy something for $10, you do the mail-in rebate, they'll send you $5 back. Um, not a lot of money, but it's a huge help whenever, you know, uh, budgeting is very important as it is to me. So anyways, thank you so much, Super Clean, for sending this stuff to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I was looking forward to making this video because the hood has been so heavy for a long time. I'm so glad I finally got that taken care of. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys did not like this video, please give it a thumbs up anyways. At least give a thumbs up for Super Clean. If you've if you never heard of them before, go on YouTube and just type in Super Clean. Uh, you'll see a ton of stuff on YouTube. Uh, very, very, very good products. You can use them on your grills. You can use them on your clothing, um, carpeting. I, it, the, the, the usage, the uses of it is, is unbelievable. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Take care now. See you later. Bye. You need the power of super clean. Let me see your keys. Oh, I was, I was looking at the camera. Crap. You need the power of super clean. Let me see your keys. That was the camera. I don't know. Oh, I think I did. You need the power of, ah, oh, gosh. It's like chow block or something, what the heck?
and spray off. Oh, the water's not turned off. And spray off. Okay, I just got kicking the hose somewhere. You see me good? Come on. What is going on here? Yeah, I got you. And the car? Yeah. Let me see the, the wheel. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna freak. Did you ever have your car sitting in a garage for a period of time and you back it out and, oh man, a piece of grease. Anyway, sorry, over. Did you ever have your garage, oh my gosh. Did you ever have your car sitting in a garage for a period of time and you back it out and you see that your car dropped a piece of, ugh. It's peas. All right, wait. All right, here you go. Oh, I can't remember what the ending saying is. What about here? Here you go. Well, that ain't gonna work. Well, you stabbed my hand. Okay. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Wait. I say thanks, man. Not, not... 